Welcome back to more Assassin's Creed 2. Let's see who our target is. Brought up as a noble Impanzi! in a city by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the middle class and its social climbers. Dismayed, he watched as the Medici bank eclipsed his own and centuries of influence over the Florentine government slipped away. It looks like the Spaniard offered him a solution. Rather than hmm. compete in something as dirty as banking, Francesco only had to do one thing for the Templars. One thing to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the Medici. Giovanni Auditore tried to stop Francesco by putting him oh, in jail. Oh gosh. But the Templars took care of that. Ooh, sorry, Dad. We will help you, Daddy. Like we tried to help you, Daddy. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I saw Francesco lead a <sighs> We tried to help our daddy, him. but it didn't help any. I fear he may be seeking another way. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can. Well, you two fuck off sounds good. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna do it, we're gonna kill him, and it's gonna be glorious. And we also had another time shift, because that's just how things work in the Animus. Oh, yeah. Woo! -hoo! Time shift! Time shift! I wonder if all of us will be happy about it. Then again, we're not really shifting, like, we're not time traveling, we're just kind of like skipping chunks. <laughs> of course, this is in a computer gener generated world, though, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if memory serves, the area where we need to go is actually the, uh, the same prison area where we had to go see our dad the first time, like, right near the beginning. Kind of like poetic justice in a way. Indeed. At least that's the plan. I like how there's still people walking around like saying, I'm just going about my normal daily lives while there are people fighting in the streets. <laughs> Look, I must deliver this box of apples to... <laughs> What's his face with the Italian name? Yeah, like, can't think of one, so we'll just come up with a interchangeable Italian name. That'll do. Right. Go. Let's do this. Let's kill things. You again? Why aren't you dead, man? Slaughter him. Yeah, good luck with that dipshit. I was like, why he said you were dead? We were never dead, you fuckwit. Yeah, why aren't you dead? It's like, cause you never killed me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no shit, stupid. Oh no, a restricted area. It's not like these guards and then always going to stop me. <laughs> uh yeah, you're not. The first thing you need to do when you're playing when you're in a situation like this is to give up all ability to give a flying fuck. What's well, working? I haven't been even hurt yet. So it's like I don't give a damn. Oh, that was cheap! I was gonna do a really cool kill and then that guy just knocked me over. Douche McNugget. Actually, we were just about to say that to you, Gods! there, shithead. Gods! No one's coming. Ha <laughs> ha! It's just us now. Maledetto, There's no way left to run. Stop it, After him! Aww, I was kind of hoping that he killed himself. That would have been that would have been like a really funny way to end it. Like, get away from me! Ah! <laughs> I did not realize there was a drop. Ah! It was like the because they literally set it up for a really dramatic end scene, and then oh, oh god damn it! I didn't have my hidden blades equipped. No, it's you. Don't do that. And. And then you just kind of, it would have been perfect for having Estio just like poke him with a sword and fall and land on, like as a splatter on the pavement. Ow. It doesn't matter, we'll just stab him while he's running away. Get back here you little boosh. Douche. I'm trying to think of words that rhyme with douche so I can extend that insult. It's not working. Skadoosh! Spadoosh McDouchel nozzle thing. <laughs> McDouchel nozzle? <laughs> Magnusha nozzle, it's the latest extension for your hose in the garden. Are you having trouble getting all of your plants? Have Francesco de Pazzi, he's the douche nozzle. 
Now Firenze will judge you for what Death you to you, bitch! It's over. It's all At least he's not throwing it back in my face like fucking Vieri did. Yeah. Aspire. Huh. Nice words there, Ezio. Yeah, if we're a gentleman assassin, we've learned, because Mario said, do not become Vieri. He's like, oh shit, I don't want to do that. Mm. I don't want to become Vieri, fuck that guy. What the hell? Yeah, I'm trying to lead a revolt. Francesco. Ha! Suck it, bitch! This is for the Articores, you son of a bitch! Yeah, what do you know? We've now killed uh, two generations of a family now. Aren't we great? Yes. And to make it even more insulting, we stripped him down to his underpants. And hung him, no less. Well, he was already dead, so we really didn't even have to do that. Well, sequence four is done anyway. It's about... Oh. how many's left? There's 14 in the game, but two of them are like DLC, so there's like... I don't know, 12? Mm. I'm not good at maths. <laughs> As we walk slowly into the light. Baby, get, get away from my iPad! Baby, go! Shoot! Dragon Scales cat can also be a bit of a douche nozzle. Order now! <laughs> she plays fetch! Which is what she's wanting me to do now. Okay, go get the go get the receipt ball. Shoot. Oh, loading. I like this. If all computers like loaded this where I would like computers a lot more. I hope virtual reality is as cool as this in the future, because it really will be something. How would you load like this though? <laughs> I don't know, just have everything on my screen like have that big like grid backdrop to my desktop as my desktop wallpaper and stuff. Old, I fell into oh, that'd be neat. I think you can do that with Rain Meter. It's like a thing that makes you customize how your desktop Certain looks. Yeah, I think uh, Dan Danielle used that to uh, do the <laughs> Mass Effect thing looking the thing. Yeah. At her side, <laughs> you know, it's really nice to hear your life story, <laughs> Lorenzo, but I really don't smiling give a shit. Bye. Especially when you say, mother your mother was soaking and smiling at me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't share information like that, do you? Especially not with her kid. Yours and mine. Um, I'm sorry I could not save your father and brothers. Yeah, you, you bloody will be. Apologize for I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. The attack on you oh, We've well. still got another Pazzi on our list, have we? That well, let us the go rest. and solve the Pazzi problem! Oh, they've hidden themselves well. Hey, Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they will surely involve This is the weirdest name, Jacopo! As well. <laughs> Jacopo de Pazzi! It rolls off the tongue mate. most delightfully. Archbishop. Tampo, tampo. I don't even know where that comes from. I like that last one. Bernardo Baroncelli. Baroncelli. That's a good one. There you go. Ha! Raiding dead people stuff. Woo! I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it again. Why'd you hold it so like threateningly, it Ezio? It's like, I'm like, I'm gonna beat you with this thing. <laughs> Baby, shut up. Shut up, we're gonna listen to who's involved in this shit. Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family. And he ran their bank. Also, he's the big grandmaster. Of of the Patsies, Medici, at least. He had nothing against him personally. Baby! So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care I'm of I'm trying to listen to the talky English man. Excuse me for a second, dear viewers. I must get rid of my cat. No. Ouch! Ouch! Ran the numbers in the bank it's bank. out! Yeah, such is the nature of pets, everyone. Annoying! Who delivered the first blow. 
Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by oh, these guys are Maffei bags of shit, honestly. He joined the Templars to That's a douche revenge. monkey! Not all of these guys are. Slashed Lorenzo's neck. Good God! Archbishop Francesco. Did we manage to stumble in on the biggest collection of douche monkeys in the entire city of Florence? I don't know, but it seems to be like every time we come across someone new, they seem to be much worse than the previous guys. It was Salviati who marched their troops into. Can we just kind of stop that pattern now? I'd like to meet up with some good people. Well, luckily they're all going to die, so it'll be great. Look at that Jacopo guy, his eyes are dead. <laughs> Maybe that is foreshadowing. Yeah, foreshadowing that that's soon what you will be. Oh. Very soon you will be dead. Oh, we got money in the villa's chest. Hopefully, pfft, won't steal it. Hey, Santo! <laughs> What's wrong with you? What is your problem? Oh, so does that mean that we can walk around town and not get, like, our butt busted? Uh, not quite yet. That happens a bit later. Because mm -hmm. uh, we get something that allows us to be permanently incognito, which is quite nice. But not yet. Because there is a thing that I want to try and get in this building. I think I'm on the wrong side. Like, we are never going to be able to go home, are we? Yes, yes, we're not going to go home. Pfft, now shut up and start working. <laughs> but I don't want to work! Nah, 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 nah. It says really a lot about a person when they're just like that. I have days where I don't want to go to work either. Yeah, but she's like, how could they make me work and like face reality? How dare they do this to me? It's like, shut up. <laughs> Man, I wish that Jesper Kid would come back as composer for this game series. Then maybe I would like play it more again. <laughs> Move yourself, pregnant lady. Yeah, screw you. I've got like an ancient tomb to find. Oh, what do you know? It's right here. Hello. I would I would love to wonder why people don't even notice that there's a skull on the wall there. Maybe because the general population are idiots. I mean, that's kind of the case nowadays, yet alone back then. Well, I kind of like to think that we came from intelligent people, but at some point down the line, we all just kind of went, fuck it, and got stupid. Maybe it's not stupidity, maybe it's just complacency. That may be it. I mean, wasn't it Albert Einstein who said, the day that we, sacrifice, that we uh, trade our human contacts for technology, we will have a generation of idiots. He's kind of right. Yep, because you can't have a social gathering without somebody being on their phone. Which I never really understood. Like, if you're going to hang out with somebody, hang out with them. Leave your fucking phone in your purse, or your pocket, or whatever the hell you have to hold your phone. How, what great timing that everyone seems to have cleared out of this church just as I'm going to go jumping through it to find stuff. Take what you can get. Okay, so there's a thing at the top of this place that we do that we need to get to, and we'll find another assassin seal. However, that will wait until the next episode. So join us then, when hopefully I won't mess this up terribly. Bye bye.